M0FXB, welcome to my videos on the Kenwood D75. Today we're looking at the simplex settings for DV operation on the D75. Normally we would use DR mode, which we're in now. We'll come out of DR mode by pressing digital. And we're now in VFO mode. Just press number one is VFO. Number two is memory. Okay, one is VFO, two is memory. To enter DR mode, you press digital. Now, if you look now, we're not actually going into the DR system, and I'll show you why. If we press F, then digital, we, pre we enter the digital menu, which is a secondary menu. So your first menu is this. But if we go, when we're in digital, and it's DV mode, look, we go F, digital. We're now in the digital menu. And if we toggle to the middle section, it says DV, DR. When you press enter, it switches you between the DR mode and the DV mode. So DV mode is just like selecting another mode. So you've got AM, FM, USB, LSB, DV, and it will transmit in, the, you know, in digital mode, call it D-star. DR mode is the package that you see on ICOM radios as well. When you hold down here, DR, there's a DR button here. We've gone into DR mode. And the A, you know, the top part of DR mode is the reflectors you're going to choose, and the bottom part is either the repeater you're going to use or hotspot or gateway. Now with the Icon 50, if we hold down DR and we select the mode as DV, just here on the left. Okay. See so changing there, FM. FM narrow and then DV, nice and easy, and we can put a plus or minus shift. And if we add a minus shift, it will activate our hotspot. Let's just push this now. In the background, you'll see that's my hotspot going off. M0 FXB, okay? Now, with the Kenwood D75, if we now enter, we were in DV mode, we're gonna enter, we're still in DV mode there. We'll go F menu, enter dv mode then press the mode button to get you back into fm you're in fm now then when you're in fm that's memory at the moment press number one and now when you press digital it will take you into the dr system there you go and we're the same now as the icon if you hold down i know we've got no gps there but if we hold down we get our repeaters. We can choose from our repeater list. We can do a nearby repeater search, which I'll show you now. Searching, okay. There's that, quite nice. Repeater list, which is everything in the world that's on your radio. And these, the 75 comes with, you know, a whole, you know, all these files pre-programmed. We can choose one and it puts it at the bottom because that's, if we're say we're in this location and we're near this repeater and we've chose if we hold the arrow upwards to reflector then use reflector or link we could link to someone link to one charlie when we key m0 fxb we're going to attempt to link through that repeater or you could hold down and you go down to your hotspot list which you can access in repeater list if you want. Hotspot list. And I can select my this hotspot here, which is DV Mega Hotspot. It's a Pi Star system. When I key now, it should attempt to link me. You can see it's... Oh, there you are, I'm linked. Okay. Now, there is a different way of using D-Star. With the... I'll turn this down with these systems and they work slightly different for each radio with the 50 you can still use the hotspot in the normal way with the d75 when you go into dv mode really it's for simplex operation unless someone can tell me otherwise because watch this if we go out of dv mode by pressing digital it puts us back into vfo mode if we try and change mode, it will only keep putting us back into DR mode, but we, we're talking about DV mode now. So if we now go 
to digital, go F menu, and then press the middle button now. You've got it says DV DR. We're now in DV mode. Now we can listen, no problem. But I'm finding that if I actually transmit on the 75, it won't access and open the hotspot, even if I put a zero shift in. The instruction manual for the D75 says this. It says when you set DV mode for the first time, so QCQ is set. Simplex call in digital mode can be operated only in DV mode. So I'm I'm presuming, and I've tried to open my hotspot, and I am presuming that when you're in DV mode, this mode, that you it is a simplex contact. And if you want to use a repeater contact or a hotspot, uh, or even if you use the gateway systems, you are in, you are going to use DR mode. If we come out of DR mode a minute, come out. And then when we're in the CQ mode, DV, we can access to digital menu by going F digital. We can access it. Now if we go along here to TXCS, you'll see that the repeater 1 and repeater 2 section is blank. If we can go back and go back into DR mode. Now to go into DR mode, we have to go into VFO mode. So we have to press digital, make sure we're in VFO mode, then press digital. No, that's not going to work. Digital, then we go F menu, go across back to DR mode. There you are. So we're back in DR mode. Now if we go F menu, determined to do this, F menu in DVDR, go to the TXCS. You can see it's all there, which is what you need to, to work your hotspot or work a repeater. You've got repeater 1, which is B, repeater 2, gateway and call sign, and we're on reflector 1, Charlie. But that's what we would expect. Now the way a, a DV, the DV system works is that it's, it's, it's based on a repeater. So you need a plus or minus shift and a zero, and a, and a zero shift. So even though we've got plus or minus when we key, nothing changes because we set a zero shift. And the way you do that is go to menu, normal menu, up to the settings cog, go down to repeater. Go down, it says repeater. And you've got your offset frequency, which I've set to zero. You can change that and there's auto as well, you know, for other repeaters like two meter repeaters have a 600 kilohertz. 70 centimeter repeaters have 7.6 kilohertz. So if you enter it, look, you can change it if you want. But we've set it to zero. I was hoping that once that was set to zero and we were in DV, even it, even though, let's just go back into that F menu. F menu, uh, I need to be in VFO mode. Hit digital, then we go F menu, right, go back here and go back to DV mode with a plus or minus shift. I should be able to open my hotspot when I transmit. Now if we, but you saw that the CS settings are different. Now there is a setting in the, in the D star section. If you go menu, go to the D, the gold star, enter, and we've got DV gateway. If you go down, you can set repeater one and two, but that's for a gateway call. Let's, we'll try that, reflector, no, it says reflector terminal mode. That's more for, I would say, um, when you're using the DV Connect app. So it's interesting, unless someone else has got any ideas. Let's try again to just open the hotspot using this mode that we've just set. So we're on 12 Charlie now, let's key. And you'll see that nothing happens to the hotspot, even though I've got the right frequency, yeah, and the shift and everything. Now let's try and do it with with the 50. So 433550 minus shift DV mode. Let's try it. See, and ac it will access it. And we're not in DR mode. We hold down and like so, hold down the DR. We're in DR mode. And the same goes for the Icon 50. So it's an observation about using 
a Kenwood D75 or 74 in simplex DV mode that you saw when we went F menu. Um, and there's some other selections here as well you can make. Let's go to our oh, voice and data. If you select that, it, for example, if you're using the RS M1A app sending photographs, you would have to select data. Press enter. And data appears. Another one is that you saw earlier. If you go menu, go to DV and then gateway and you want to use the app. Then you are going to have to turn on gateway mode. Watch this. Select enter down to reflector terminal mode. Then go back with menu. And it now says terminal. So now you can use the the app, the DV DV Connect app by PA7 LIM to connect to your different you know reflectors. So thanks. I thought, you know, I know it's it's all it's all can be a bit much. I mean the reason they've done DR mode as far as I can see, it's because it packages everything. It packages all the repeaters together. It packages all the reflector numbers in one place. So when we're in DR mode, if we hold it up, hold the arrow up, reflector, we can do these commands. Look, use reflector is CQ, CQ, basically. Link to reflector, when you select that, then you can choose one that you've been to before, or you can click input, and then you can manually type Reflector, XLX, XRF, and DCS, which is very cool. It's, you know, it's a lot of functionality here. Select, and then you key it or link you to, uh, uh, you know, it will, it will link you. Or you can hold it up and reflector, and you can unlink. You can do an echo test. Reflector info means it's going to shout back at you and say to you, oh, I'm connected to so-and-so. You know, that's what it will do. But just general chat, you leave it on use reflector. And if I hold it down, I just make sure I don't think we're actually in DR, DR mode. So let's just go F, like so. Uh, no, it's not going to let me do it at the moment. Let's go to the B section. Yes, yeah, because I'm, I mean, I've turned on data and terminal mode. So let's turn that off. The menu, DV gateway, and turn that off. And then we need to come out of data mode. So you go F menu, come out of data mode. Now it should let me TX now, M0 FXB test. And we're getting bips back, you know, beeps back from the D-Star system, but we're not opening up that hotspot. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. The next one is I'm gonna have a look at the uh, Digi Peter 7.3 for now.